What's up everyone and welcome back to another HitFilm Express tutorial. Today I'll be showing you three ways to create this selective color effect in HitFilm. Today's video tutorial will be two out of five on the difficulty scale. It'll be a beginner tutorial because the concepts shouldn't be that hard to understand and there wouldn't be much prior knowledge you need to know before doing this effect. Today I'm going to be showing you three ways to create this selective color effect. What is this selective color effect? It's basically where you have one color left uh, saturated and there, everything else is black and white. So there are tons of ways to do this in HitFilm. I said three ways in this tutorial, so that's what we're going to be doing. And the tips and techniques that I'm going to show you in this video can be used for a whole ton of other things as well. In fact, I might have a video coming out soon, which is uh, covering some other ways you can use these kinds of uh, tricks in HitFilm. And uh, if you want to see that video, make sure you stay subscribed. But for now, we're just going to go straight on into creating the selective color effect. So the first thing you can do is just search up in the effects panel for the leave color effect. And the leave color effect, as it sounds, will leave a certain color in the image. But as you can see, it's an add-on, which means you have to buy the color starter pack, uh, the color looks pack, sorry, if you want to get this leave color effect. You can also get it, of course, by purchasing the pro version of HitFilm. I have made a little bit of a deal with HitFilm, so if you use the link in the description to go to the HitFilm store and you use the code SHINY10 at checkout, then you'll get 10% off any HitFilm Pro, any HitFilm add-on pack, and any HitFilm product. So that's really useful if you want that, but I know this is a strictly Express tutorial and most of my viewers just have the free version, and there are other ways to do this in the Express version. So we're going to be checking those out now. Remember, if you want a really simple and easy way to do that, HitFilm has made an effect for that but there are other ways we can work around that in HitFilm Express. The first way is we can use the HSL effect. The HSL is the hue, saturation, and lightness effect. So let's just search up for that right now. And as you can see, I've also got these uh, little keyboard things going on. So if you uh, miss any keyboard shortcuts or anything that I'm doing, you should be able to see those pop up there. But let's go ahead and grab the hue, saturation, and lightness effect and drag it onto our video. Now, I'm just gonna, just gonna also drag the controls panel up here just so that I have a bit more of space to work with with the controls. And I'm just going to open up the effect like so. You'll see that the hue, saturation, and lightness splits our video up into all of these color channels, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, and also the master, which is everything in the video. And in each of these colors, you can adjust hue shift, which is like the color, saturation, the vibrance or the poppiness of the color, and the lightness, which is basically the brightness, but it works pretty dodgy, so I wouldn't touch the lightness if I were you. If you go into master and you adjust the saturation, you can see what the saturation does. It makes everything black and white or really colorful, and also the hue shift as well. But we're not here for the hue shift, we're just here for the saturation. Now, if we want to go ahead and make a certain color to be selective uh, color, so we want to leave only that color, let's just go ahead and open all these colors up like so. If, if we want to say only make the reds in here uh, saturated, what we can do is get rid of yellows, get rid of greens, just turn down the saturation for all of these colors so that they become completely colorless. Go back to cyan, blue, and magenta, make them all colorless as well. And you see we kind of have this selective color effect. And if we lift the reds, you can see we can bring those out as well. So we've made kind of a selective color effect here. Um, and this works really well if you just want a quick, easy way to do this in the free version of HitFilm. However, we do have a couple of issues here. The first is that the colors are looking a little bit dodgy because we've kind of morphed the colors out. You see we've reduced the magentas and all of those kind of tones. And so her skin, you'll notice, actually kind of looks really red when we apply the selective color effect. And also, we can't really adjust exactly what colors we want to be visible because the reds kind of affect all the reds. It kind of affects this magenta pink stuff and some of this yellow stuff in the background. So it's not really very accurate. It's good if you want to have just a quick fix, but there are more accurate ways to do that. Of course, one of those ways is that uh, so the leave color effect, which is in the pro version of HitFilm, but you can use all the same functionality of the leave color effect with a different method, which I'm going to show you now. I'm just going to go ahead and delete my hue, saturation, and lightness for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to now create two layers. We're going to create one layer, which is the background, which will be black and white, and one layer on the top, which will be colorful. And to create two layers out of any clip, it's really easy. All you have to do is hold Alt, or if you're on a Mac, you can hold Option, and just click and drag 
uh, on the key on the on the mouse and click and drag on your clip, and it'll uh, choose where you want it to be. And we just want it to be on a track above so that they'll play at the same time on top of one another. So just let go like that and uh, it'll create a duplicate of that rather than just moving the clip, which is really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to choose which colors we want to be visible. So go ahead and hide the bottom video layer like so. That way only the top video layer is visible and grab the hue and RGB key here. You can see I've already searched up for it. It's under keying. So go ahead and grab that and drag it onto the top layer. You can see by default, it's keyed out a lot of this red stuff. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's done. If we uncheck the color, and then we can choose exactly which color we want to be visible. For example, if we want just the skin to be visible, for example, let's go ahead and select that color just by dragging it and make sure, make 100% sure that you uh, uncheck the effect. Otherwise, you'll be selecting colors from uh, the video with the effect on it and that won't really work. So make sure you uncheck the effect, then do the color, turn it back on, and you can see it's actually done the opposite of what we wanted. It's made all of the uh, skin go away, which is not what we wanted. And by the way, this checkerboard background, you can turn it on and off uh, up here, but basically it means that it's transparent over there, which means it'll show through there. If we just go ahead and click invert, we'll get the effect more like we want it to, just the skin showing. But you can see we also have this kind of thing showing in the background. So there's a couple ways we can fix that. The first is the tolerance. The tolerance is the amount of colors that are close to this color that'll select. So if we lift it all the way up to 100%, you can see it selects every single color. But if we just go down to 0%, it only selects exactly that color. If we go ahead and just adjust the tolerance until we get something close to what we want, then we'll get a good result. However, you can see that we're still kind of bringing some stuff in here. So what we can do is adjust the edge softness, which as you, as you might uh, guess, will kind of make the edge softer and it'll kind of bleed it outwards. And this is helpful for filling in stuff that isn't properly keyed in. For example, you can see here, this stuff is transparent. And if we bring in the edge softness, it'll kind of fill that stuff in for us. So we can go ahead and kind of do this until uh, the background is not very visible. And we can just bring up the edge softness and it will create a much nicer effect. It's also pretty easy for us to see right now which areas are transparent and which are not. But if you hit the view mat, it'll show you everything that's transparent as black and everything that's visible as white. You'll notice that we don't actually get a very good effect with the skin here. And uh, this isn't really what I was going for uh, to begin with anyway. I was kind of going for the pink bikini anyway. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hide the hue and RGB key. We're just going to reselect that dropper on some kind of pink area, say here, and go ahead and mess around with the tolerance and the edge softness again. As you can see, we've now selected uh, the clothing, but we also want to kind of clean this up because it's got some lines around here as well. So what we can do is go ahead and grab the matte cleaner, just drag that on like so, and just open that up. If you hit smooth, it'll kind of smooth out the edges. And if you can see here on the, on the clothing here, especially at the bottom, it creates these rounded edges. But what it also does, which is really great, is also kind of gets rid of these small areas. You can use the smooth and a choke also just chokes in the edge. So it'll make everything selection here smaller. It'll also get rid of all of these unwanted selections we have here, uh, but smooth works a bit better because it doesn't deteriorate the actual quality of this stuff here. And the feather will kind of smooth out the edge so that we get a softer looking edge like so. When you've combined the matte cleaner and the hue and RGB key, we can get some really good results. So we've selected this, and uh, now if we show the original video layer, you can see that it still looks the same. All you have to do is, you may have guessed it, drag the HSL effect back onto the background, open it up, and in the master, just drop the saturation down to zero. Because we've got this video layer above it, then it'll show the pink stuff, but everything on the bottom layer will be invisible. You can also, if you want to, go into the top layer and adjust the hue, saturation, and lightness after this as well, if you want to say, make it more saturated or less saturated up to you as well. You can adjust that too. But that will do it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more hit film content like this, you can of course subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny.